Hi and welcome to my channel Boy Reads World and this is my first book haul for the month September and October. Most of my books I bought in September but considering I've only started this channel last week and we're nearing the end of October I thought I'd do two months in a time. Let's get to it. The first book I've bought was Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. I've been reading a couple of LGBTQ themed uh, books over the summer and this is of course considered one of the classics in that genre and I must admit that this was a very fascinating read so yeah definitely worth it. Speaking of LGBTQ themed books, uh, one of the other books that I bought in September was More Happy Than Not by uh, Adam Silvera. I have not read this book and I don't read that much young adult but because somebody on booktube I think compared it to Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind which really fascinated me when I saw that film so yeah I think this is gonna be quite an interesting read. Also in September I walked into a bookstore that I hadn't been to and I was completely enamored with it and you know it's always great to, to uh, support your local bookstores so there I bought uh, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I hadn't heard that much about it but by reading the blurb I immediately wanted to pick it up because it's about the daughter of first generation Chinese immigrants in America who wants to do right by her parents but also struggles with her own ideals and her own decisions. I think in the beginning of the book it's about how she disappears and how her family copes with that and what has happened to her. So I like to read diversely so I think I'll really enjoy this one. That same day I visited my usual local bookstore and I bought Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I have heard quite a lot about this book. I know it's about second chances, about how a child is being born and dies but at the same time it keeps on living. It's quite thick but, you know, I, I have a lot of expectations for it. Talking about ambitious books, I bought the Dutch translated version of Purity by Jonathan Franzen. I've already read uh, Freedom and the Corrections by him. I didn't enjoy Freedom quite that much but I was a big fan of the Corrections. I just knew I had to buy this book. I haven't started in it yet because you know it's a whopping 600 pages but I'll definitely get to it before the end of the year. So another book that I've bought because I've read the previous work of the author is uh, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Over the summer I read Persuasion by her which I find to be her best work to be honest because you know Anne Elliot is so much more mature than Elizabeth Bennet for example and I haven't read Northanger Abbey yet I think that's one of her lesser known novels and it's a beautiful edition so when I saw it I knew I had to pick it up. The last book I picked up was Did You Ever Have a Family by Bill Clegg. I'm slowly working my way through the Man Booker long list. I've already read A Little Life by Hany Yanagahara and It's Pool of Blue Thread by Dan Tyler, both of which I gave five stars. I also enjoyed this one because it gives you quite a good insight into the lives of the people that are affected by the explosion that happens at the beginning of the book. Clegg uses a good number of different narratives to achieve this, so yeah, I quite enjoyed this one. So I would definitely recommend it. Those were the seven books that I've bought over the past few months. I'll definitely be buying this year's Man Booker winner, A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James, and who knows what other books will find their way onto my shelves. So uh, I'll see you next time, and yeah, bye!